Hey everyone, this is Sean Tackett, uh, Booty Man and uh, Fango Fan. Um, I'm going to do a new subject uh, called Seven Videos a Week. Meaning you can watch them one day a week, you know, all at once. You know, it's called Seven a Week, so one day a week. And here we go. Uh, it's going to be on air, uh, various topics. Uh, my first one is important political videos that have meant something to me, that are important to me. So these are ones that have the messages that I have really agreed with. Now let's get started. Number seven, Abby Normal, who's a very sweet girl and she's very knowledgeable. And her video, Mr. Rogers is Evil by Fox News. This is one of the most disgusting reasons. I, I mean, folks, and this should tell you right here that Fox News is a liar. I mean, the National Enquirer is probably more honest than them. And, uh, you know, it's disgusting. Uh, let's take a look at the clip of uh, uh, the story. Rogers. This evil, evil man I has now not ruined evil. a generation of kids. And you know what? I'm with Captain Kangaroo. He was uh, half a generation ahead. That explains a few things, Steve. Absolutely, because these experts are saying that the kids of today who grew up with uh, Mr. Rogers were told by him, you're special just for being who you are. Well, here's the problem. It gets lost in that whole selfish business and the idea that being, being hard and having high patience for yourself Discounted. He, Mr. Rogers' message was, you're special because you do. He didn't say, if you want to be special, you're going to have to work hard. And now all these kids are growing up and they're realizing, hey, wait a minute. Mr. Rogers lied to me. I'm not special. I'm trying hard and I'm not getting anywhere. Mr. Rogers, I mean, seriously. They went on to say that Captain Kangaroo was better. The man sm snorted cocaine. And then they insulted Sesame Street. Sesame Street. How can they insult Sesame Street? I mean, Sesame Street's the best thing that ever happened to children's television. Bah! They are reaping my childhood. This was a great YouTube video. Abby Normal told about, you know, how it's the parents' responsibilities to uh, make sure that uh, uh, children uh, grow up right. And Fox News' little stupid analogy of Mr. Rogers was just plain pathetic. Folks, Fox News is not to be trusted, and that story alone just proves it. Next up, my number six video uh, is a good video by a friend of mine named uh, Franks. And uh, he uh, talks about uh, these uh, liber libertarians and these uh, neocon tea partiers, and that uh, they're never going to learn. They're never going to learn. And it's absolutely true. And here's a clip of old Frank and what he's talking about. This video is brought to you by the video available for download by all the lib libertarian idiots from the Miles Institute. If you're tired of government, move to Somalia. Okay? And this is what it's about. This is this is this video is about uh, moral belief versus factual reality. Now, people can hold different ethical stances. We can. Uh, libertarians out there hold um, an ethical stance completely different to what I do. And they're entitled to that opinion as much as I am. Mine. Conservatives hold a different ethical stance. Uh, liberals hold a different ethical stance, communists hold a different ethical stance, anarchists hold a different ethical stance. And there's many varying variations of people within those political groupings, as they call themselves. Frank's really hit it, hit it on the head, folks. The, these morons are never going to learn. They are never going to learn. And honestly, it's sad that they try to rewrite history when the history they rewrite is wrong. Next up uh, on my uh, video, number five, is, yeah, I know, it's kind of a shout-out to my brother Mike, but, hey, it's a great video, even if he hadn't done it. If someone else had done this, it's still a great video. Uh, kind of a uh, next topic of uh, what Frank uh, was talking about, uh, fascism versus socialism. And, folks, I tell you, socialism, you get the better deal, and here's a clip on Michael talking about it. If you know what socialism is, I bet a lot of you don't, because you've been spoon-fed lies and everything. So, I got this from Botanica. 
um, of mild socialism. This is the definition. I'm going to read you the definition. System or of social organization in which private property and the distribution of income are subject to social control. Also, the political movements aimed at putting that system into practice. Because social control may be interpreted in widely diverging ways, socialism ranges from statist to libertarian, from Marxist to liberal. The term was first used to describe the doctrines of Charles Fourier and Henry de Saint Simon and Robert Owen, who emphasized non coercive communities of people working non uh, competitively for the spiritual and physical well being of all. See utopian socialism. And um, that means basically. And there you go, folks. Uh, and it just goes to show you that socialism done right could really help this country against the neocon uh, Tea Partiers fascism beliefs. Sorry, you lose, conserves. Uh, next up, uh, my uh, next video is, of course, from a good friend of mine. Her name is Chris. And uh, this is her video on Planned Parenthood and abortion, and she totally burns the hell out of the morons who uh, try to bad name uh, Planned Parenthood. I mean, she uses smarts, she uses facts, wit, and humor, and I like it. And here's a clip of the video right now. Abortion. Mm-hmm. That's why they're so focused on sexual education and promote contraception use. Because they want women to have abortions. Because they killed my brothers. My sisters. My cousins. My friends. My classmates. My teammates. My lover. Leaving aside how this guy's lover was a fetus, like, ill, this is nothing but emotional manipulation. Boo-hoo. Planned Parenthood has been shoving abortion down our throats. Sorry, but the mental image of that is just funny. We are calling on Congress to defund Planned Parenthood. Defund Planned Parenthood. We are calling on Congress to, to defund, defund Planned Parenthood. We are calling on Congress to defund Planned Parenthood. Awesome! Defund Planned Parenthood so that people, especially women with low income, will no longer have access to STD testing and pop smears, which just happen to be vital for women, and, you know, basic information and reproductive health care. Great job, Chris. Love the video. I always like all your videos. This one. Uh, really stood out to me. Great humor, great message. You always do good videos. Thumbs up for me on that. Okay, now we're getting up to the top three. And this one is probably the most controversial on the list. Uh, it's uh, anti-BS man's um, assisted suicide. It's his first video. And, you know, whether a lot of you folks agree with it or not, I think this is something, it holds true to my belief strongly because the Terry Schiavo incident was disgusting. I mean, you know, an uh, anti-BS man really goes into a lot of good detail and gives a lot of good points on it. And I agree with him on this. And, uh, and let's take a look at the clip. Which they should be obligated to sign, where they would simply answer yes or no to the question of, uh, do you wish to have the right to, at any point somewhere down the road, choose to end your life through a completely non-painful method uh, with the aid of the um, medical industrial complex. That's the question, basically. Um, probably can be phrased a hell of a lot better than that, um, but I'm just going off the whim here, so it doesn't really matter. Use your imagination. And it would just be a yes or no answer. And I guess those who refuse to provide the answer would simply run the risk of having a family member make that decision for them. Um, and you know, a decision that they may regret once it's too late, but that's just the way it would have to be. Um, I, I don't believe that a suicidal person has to live in some sort of an extremely unbearable condition. Uh, in order, to, uh, I, I don't believe it should be a prerequisite to exercising that option of suicide. Uh, wow, a really a strong. Uh, emotional and a very potent message from uh, Mr. Uh, Anti-BS Man. Great video, it's one of your best and I give you a big thumbs up for it and, and it's just a great message that needed to be said. Way to go Anti-BS Man. Okay, number two. My next video is from a man who I consider the walking uh, encyclopedia of Britannica on YouTube. Uh, I compare him to uh, YouTube's uh, Chomsky. 
this man has so much information in his videos and if I could put this man teaching all the schools across America I would his name is Mr. Azov and he's done a lot of great videos my favorite one is uh, gun responsibility and uh, assault rifle restrictions a uh, great video one of the best videos I've ever seen and you know like he's a big good he is a gun owner himself you know he owns a gun says it in the video and I mean he gives a lot of detailed great explanations on the history of abuses of uh, assault weapons and stuff and uh, let's take a look at a clip right now strategic arms control beginning right here at home with our firearms industrial complex and its affiliated power lobbies like say the National Rifle Association and if I thought getting botted by the college kid libertarians was something wait till the Middle East pot guts with their legally converted fully automatic AK see this video anyway First of all, let me say that I do own a firearm, one, and that I periodically renew my certification in its use. I'm not for complete banning of firearms by private persons, nor am I a complete pacifist. I do prefer nonviolence, as does any normally and morally sane living organism, but sometimes the use of force, even lethal force, may unfortunately be necessary to defend oneself or others in the world in which we live and the right of citizens to bear arms in defense of society and their self-government is also vital. For instance, the military police coup in Chile on September 11, 1973 would not have gone so one-sidedly had the murdered Chilean president, Salvador Allende, followed through... Mr. Azov, um, one of the best gun control videos I have ever seen. I would play this thing in schools all over across America, and you did a fantastic job. Highly recommended. Okay, my number one... Uh, video, most important video for, uh, you know, that's really important to me. Folks, I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos, and this one really hit me emotionally. I mean, this one was called uh, Standing on the Shoulder of Giants, and it's by Richard uh, Coughlin, 616, and uh, he talks about uh, these uh, people, you know, these uh, right-wing racists and all them, it's because of my race that we achieved greatness. Bull crap, you know, and uh, he, Richard Coughlin says, what have you done? What have you done to help make the society better? It's a very, very good and great video, and it, it's, it's just, I just think it's one of his best. He's done some great ones. Uh, now, here's a clip of... The uh, question is simply this. What have you done? Not you as in your race, not you as in your nationality or your religion, what have you personally done? I never, ever get an answer. And I know why I never get an answer. It's because the answer is simply nothing. Now that's fine because most people will go through their lives not achieving the greatness that we all wish we could. But that doesn't mean we have any excuse to sit there and claim that we have, or that we do, or that we could have done if it wasn't for those damn blacks, or those damn whites, or the Jews, or men, or women, or the Christians, or the Muslims, or the atheists, or the evil Western imperialists, or the barbaric Middle Eastern cave dwellers. There's no shame in trying and failing. There is no pride in never trying at all. And it seems to me that there are too many people who are content to not stand on the shoulders of giants, and to not help people stand on their own. They're quite content to sit there and take a steaming great shit. And there you have it, folks. I think that's one of the best YouTube videos I've ever seen. I actually had a few tears in my eyes after that one. I mean, what, you know, what can you do to help make a better society? What have these neocons and uh, conservatives and racists and stuff, what have they done? Nothing. You know, and, and Richard Coughlin even says, he's asked them, what have, what have you done? Nothing. I mean, th this is just a very strong emotional video, and it's one of the best I've seen on YouTube, and I highly recommend it. Well, folks, there's my seven a week. Uh, it's going to be every Monday, uh, well, every two weeks on a Monday morning. And I would just like to say these people who I just named are seven people who I highly respect and like, and I suggest uh, the links to their videos are going to be below. Go to their videos subscribe to them, give them thumbs up, check out their other videos, and just see how great of uh, YouTubers uh, they really are. 
and uh, I mean these are videos that are very important to me my next series would be like comedy and things like that but these were like messages and important themes that were important to me and you know they really have helped me to become a better human being and I hope these videos can do the same for you so check them out watch them sub them and I will see you folks next time when I do a video goodbye